Hello, my name is Emmy Klein and I am an artist here with Jerry's Artorama. Welcome to the studio. If you don't know me, uh, my background is illustration. I have my BFA from Ringling College of Art and Design. I have gone through several different jobs where I am a graphic designer, painter, all types of different art. So today what I'm here to do is do some art because we are all in a very bizarre time right now. We, we have high levels of stress. We are not sure what's going to happen next. We're all in like kind of a almost limbo stage. So the one thing that has kind of kept me sane, the thing that has been grounding me is art. Uh, just kind of to be able to, uh, it's almost like therapy. You sit down, you focus on creating something. It's in that where we kind of take our levels of stress down. And I would love to invite you guys to do the same thing that I'm getting ready to do, which is a painting for two hours. I used to be able to crank out paintings in an hour, and I have kind of gotten further and further away from that. Uh, so I'm just trying to give myself a very limited time because I know I'm busy. I have a family. I have a job. I have dogs. I have a bearded dragon. So we all have things we have to do in life, and to take that time and set it aside and be able to say, I'm going to create something. It might not be the best thing in the world, but at least you're creating something and kind of taking that time to sit down and simmer all the crazy that's going on around you. So today, what I'm gonna be doing is a portrait painting and I'm going to give myself a limited time. I'm only gonna do this for two hours. So I think what we're gonna do is I'm going to start painting. We're gonna check in about an hour into it and see whether or not I'm panicking or whether or not I'm in the, the groove and I'm vibing and we're, I'm happy where I'm at and I can knock this out in two hours. We'll see. Uh, not, not sure how this is gonna go, but I'm excited. So what I'm gonna be using today is a DaVinci Pro panel. They actually come in a two pack, which is really awesome. A lot of bang for your buck on this because both sides of the panel are gessoed and primed and ready to go. One side is super smooth. If you want to do portrait painting and want to get that really fine detail, really awesome for that. But if you don't want that incredibly smooth surface, the other side has a slight texture to it, which is not uh, too bad as far as um, doing portraits on. I'm actually using the rough side. So uh, I've actually already toned this with the Turner Acro Gouache uh, jet black. So it is like a black hole on the table right now. Uh, you might be able to see a little bit of line work from the sketch that I put on there. So um, I have a nice dark surface to start on. And the idea is I'm going to hopefully be able to chisel out a portrait from all the colors that I'm going to be putting on. And these are highly concentrated pigmented paints. So painting on a solid black surface is not going to be a problem with these paints. So the links to everything that I'm going to be using is going to be in the description down below. Feel free to check it out. They are really, really awesome materials. So um, I'm also going to be using uh, very soft acrylic brushes. That is my personal preference just because I like the way that they blend with the paint. Um, something a little bit harder and stiffer, kind of a bristle. Uh, if that's your preference, you know, there's all kinds of different paint brushes that are available for you. Uh, I tend to go towards the black swan because they have the longer handles and I really like how soft the bristle is. Uh, I also use the Mimic, which is incredibly soft as well, and then the Polar Flow. Uh, I have the, just the one <laughs> because I really like the shape of that brush. Um, so yeah, I think I am ready and set to go. Hopefully I don't mess this up. We'll see. But uh, yeah, so, uh, Let's see, an hour on the clock, garçon, please. Oh yeah, the other material I'm gonna be using is coffee. Lots of coffee. <laughs> I think I'm ready to go. All right, so I'm, I'm using a black and white photo. So all the colors I'm using in here, I'm kind of making up, which is a little bit freeing. And um, so I can see the structure of her face, but uh, the color choices are entirely my own. I, I get a little bit more freedom that way. Um, so let's start with a base color. Mm -hmm. 
so this is not going to be the color that this ends up. Normally, I'm just trying to carve out shapes at the moment. I kind of want to leave her mustache just solid black. <laughs> it's so good. I think I'm gonna leave her hair solid black and just kind of carve out around it, which is something I used to do in college. Um, one of my instructors actually had uh, one of our uh, projects where we had a solid black canvas and we actually had to carve out uh, architecture, which was super fun. That's fun. Yeah. So when you had like a big mass of like wires and um, like shadows, you could either just leave them solid black and then uh, that would be the shape that would kind of make up that area. All right, now the other trick to portrait art, or art is if you don't want to make your person look like they're dead, they need to have that like rosy kind of tone to their nose, their cheek, and um, usually like different touches like your, on, on your fingertips, on your hands, uh, like I said, the nose, the cheek, your chin a little bit, but if you touch those areas of the face with red, it makes your possible zombie look like they're alive. Because I've done that a couple times and was like, oh yeah, there's, there's a color missing. They don't look like they have blood flow to their skin. Although that is actually very fun to mess with as a, an artist and be able to tweak. So if you change your color palette and start tweaking those tones, you can, instead of making a person look like they're alive with the reds. Um, just the juxtaposition of like different cool tones would actually do the same thing too. I think I need, because I don't, I don't like to mix black into my paints, because that 
desaturates them really fast. But what I think I need is some kind of a dark color that I don't have on my palette. Either burnt umber or burnt sienna. I need something dark. Because I got a lot of lights there. Mm -hmm. And I need to turn the, the value down. No, burnt sienna is not going to work. I like burnt sienna. Don't think it's going to work. I need something dark. because I know from color theory class, if I were to put black on here and start mixing them together um, with my paint colors, I would have mud. I tend to not put it even on my palette at all. It just as a general rule of me stopping myself from doing that, but I probably will come back into the eyes and make that just a little bit darker. Even the, the brown I don't think is dark enough. The two hour painting is really forcing me to remember, uh, the, I, I so got out of the habit of doing this, but just remembering what's important. Mm -hmm. Like you don't need to sit there and noodle and blend and do all the things. Like just kind of find the shadows. Shadows are cool colors. And then uh, the highlights are usually warm and then eventually the structure comes out and you're like, oh, okay, yep, there it is. Like, I'm not gonna blend that out. Oh. And it somehow works. My, my brain makes it work. Mm -hmm. <laughs> optical, mis gaps. optical mixing, is that what it is? Mm -hmm. Okay, so that was the hour marker. Um, yeah, I am pleasantly surprised with how much I got down. Um, of course, it always looks really terrible until it doesn't, <laughs> as Katie likes to say. Um, 
and eventually I am going to have to get to something other than her face. But as far as an hour long into this, I'm pretty, pretty happy with where I'm at. Um, I still have, you know, her hair, uh, her hand, uh, the shirt she's wearing, that kind of a thing. And oh yeah, she has a neck and the rest of her skin that I haven't touched. So I guess that's probably where I'm going to be um, for the next hour. Um, but yeah, uh, this is this is as far as I've gotten in an hour and I'm going to probably be pretty happy with this at the two hour mark. And I'm, I'm kind of excited about it. So, you know, this is this is an hour of my time. Uh, I mean, I, I know I'm busy and everyone else is busy as well. So if you can just take an hour out of your day to do something like this. And at the end of that hour, if you're happy, if you're, you know, a little frustrated with the paint, you still look at what you've created and it's, it's still pretty awesome. So, um, two hours in and I think I'm going to be, uh, one happy camper. So let's, I guess, continue on with the painting, uh, for one, one last hour.
Well, it's not completely 100% resolved or finished, but in two hours, I'm really happy with what I have created. I mean, it's it's a portrait, and it's of Heather, and uh, the, the amount of things I could accomplish just in a two-hour time span is always quite incredible if you actually just stop what you're doing, stop honestly making excuses for why you can't paint because I do that all the time I'm like well I gotta do the dishes and well I gotta go clean my floor and my dogs need a bath and I, there are points where I was just having to put all of that to, to the side and make sure that I took time to do this for me and look at what I've created and it makes me happy so um it's not it's not the most amazing thing I've ever created but I am super happy with it um still have a lot of things I didn't even touch but yeah I, I'm really really pleasantly surprised surprised um, and as always the Turner Crow gouache is so highly pigmented and just laid down on this pure black background so beautifully and you know you can build up your layers as you were seeing me do and uh, it just it creates some really wonderful effects um, so that's it for me I hope you guys enjoyed watching me paint and of course, if you want to see me do other things with different media, oil paints, acrylics, dry media, as far as uh, drawing materials, watercolors, any of that I can use and would be happy to do this challenge again and take another two hours just to create something and see how far I can get. Um, if you also have uh, pictures, you can send them to me uh, through my Instagram, which is uh, at misscakes.art. And if you uh, send me a photo, I might be able to actually paint your portrait. Because uh, I always need reference photos. Always. So if you're interested in what I was using, like I said, the link will be in the description below of where you can find all of the things I've used. All the different colors, the panels, the brushes, the everything. So if you want to go check that out, check out the description below. So thank you guys so much for joining me and I will see you next time. Watch my videos! Yeah. <laughs>